can't spend all day looking for Daddy. I must get ready for the exhibition. Poor Daddy. Gone. <laughs> Still, I tried. I wouldn't say gone. He usually comes home. I need a cup of tea. Wearing a mysterious smile. <laughs> I admire him. He makes up his mind and off he goes. I hope the food agrees with him. What food? In France. Oh, how's he going to get to France? Is he taking any money? The Legion will meet his expenses. They don't pay to join the Legion. He's too old for the Legion. He lie about his age. <laughs> they do. The Legion asks no questions. Well, they're going to ask a few when your father turns up. <laughs> Sneer, Richard. I think it's very brave of Daddy to show such a fighting spirit. I shall think of him guarding some lonely outpost. <laughs> what shall I wear, dear? To guard a lonely outpost. <laughs> For going to the exhibition. Now pay attention, Richard. I must look my best, dear. Daddy would wish it. Cake? Oh, uh, uh, please. Who's this friend of his, Mrs. Clayton? Oh, she's a rather common person. I'm surprised at Daddy getting involved emotionally. She must have slipped something into his drink. <laughs> Their women do. Whose women? The sort of women who get mixed up with the boys from the Foreign Legion. <laughs> it happened to Gary Cooper. I saw it on the pictures. <laughs> Some girl who worked in a bar, they're usually called Fifi. <laughs> that Mrs. Clayton's not called Fifi. She works in a bar. I thought Daisy said she worked in the canteen of the old people's centre. It's the same thing. <laughs> she could easily have adulterated Daddy's Horlicks. <laughs> well. If she's the cause of all this, why doesn't someone go and find out if your father's gone to Mrs. Clayton? Now, don't interrupt me, dear, while I'm thinking. Oh! Why didn't I think of it earlier? If she's the cause of all this, why doesn't someone go and find out if Daddy's gone to Mrs. Clayton's? <laughs> Time. Are you still British? <laughs> <laughs>